Hello everyone, this is Sashmit from Pelagai Technologies. Today I am going to demonstrate how to integrate a customer facing website with Microsoft Dynamics Navigation 2016. In this video, I will show how to integrate a website with web services to display the data on a website. So let's start. I have created a website where I want to display the data. For example, I'll have to display a data of item list that is present in Navigation 2016. So let's quickly see the website that is the blank website we have. Here is my website and I want to display the data in this section. First of all, I have to create some objects in Navision that is an XML port and a code unit. So let's create an XML port. I have already created the XML port where I am using these elements from the table item. Here is the XML port. And I have the names of the main node as the nav items. Once we have created the XML port, we have to change some properties of this XML port. That is the use default namespace property to yes and default namespace property to this, that is the export items at the last. This property needs to be changed because we will use this XML port as a variable parameter in the code unit for the data exchange. Next is to create a code unit. The code unit will use will be used by the web service for the data exchange between the website and Navision. I have already created a function in this code unit named export items and I have kept the parameter as a variable which is our XML port and subtype of the XML port. I can check or uncheck the variable from here. This code unit will be used by Navision and website to interchange the data. Now next we will publish the code unit as a SOAP web service from this page that is the web service page that we have in Navision. Let's go to the role center click web service code unit in the object object id as our code unit id service name as export data and click publish once we publish the code unit we can check the availability availability of the generated soap url in any browser when we click enter we can see that the code unit is published as a soap url so now we are ready to integrate this with our dotnet code so let's quickly go to the visual studio now in visual studio select new project and open the web form application and click OK to create these objects. When we click OK on the web form application, all the objects will be added in the objects explorer window. So here are the objects that will be added once we create the project. When we created the project, now next is to add the web service reference from here, that is the web, web references. So click, uh, right click on the references, add service reference, click on advance and add web reference. You will have to put the URL of the web service here and click go. Here I have my code unit published so I will click on view services and I will name this service in the web reference name. export data web service and click add reference to add this click ok 
Now, uh, now my web reference is added as a web service in this project. Now next I will add a code in the CS file to combine the input data with the website view. First of all in the default.aspx I, I have combined here the grid view with so that my website show the input data in a grid view. For this grid view I will add some code in the CS file. First of all I am using the web service in this project that just I just added here. I will use it like this and the code lo the code goes like this. First of all I will create a new instance of the, data, of the export data that is the name of the web service. Next is to put what credentials the web service will use. So I will use the default credentials here. I, I set the use default credentials to true. Next is what URL I am using for the web service. So I will assign the URL that, that I just created on Navision web services part. I can also copy the URL from the published web service that is from the Chrome. I can copy it from here that is the location and I can paste it directly in my Visual Studio code. Now next is to call the nav item node from the XML and assign it to a new variable that is the nav items. Now I am ready to retrieve the data that will be provided by the XML port in the variable parameter that is the parameter in the code unit. Once I have the data I will combine the data with the grid view that is the code for binding the data. So here is the code of binding the data in the grid view. At this point I have the data that is the input from Navision. Now I will combine it with the grid view that I created in the default.aspx file. I will define the data source of the grid view as nav items and now I find the data. Video one dot data binding. Now my that dot net code is created. Now I can just go and build the solution and run the solution on the Google Chrome. When I run this code on the Google, you will see that the empty space below below the navigation list will now be populated with the item list that item list that will be provided by Navigent 2016. Here you will see that the grid view is now combined with the Navision item tables. The nodes that we use in the XML ports are showing the data here which was before a blank website that I just that I shown you in the beginning. So this is just a simple example that I use here to combine the data from Navision 2016 to any .NET website. You can try different combinations uh, using Navision XML ports here. Thanks for watching the video. For more information please visit www.paraguide.com.